Okay, here is round three of Operation Dungeon Kings and Kaisers. Uh, this is the recap, and uh, quite a lot of positioning here, and some key combats occurred. Um, so, uh, let's start over on the Eastern Front. Uh, the revolution is going to be happening very soon. Uh, it could happen this next round in round four, which is very early. Usually, as the Russian player, you want to hold things off till at least round five. Uh, round six is decent. Uh, anything past round six is really good for the allies. Uh, but due to my crazy, stupid strategy over here in the Black Sea, um, I, think, <laughs> I think it's paying negative dividends at this point. Um, basically, I washed away a whole turn of ground unit buys on uh, naval units. So I'm um, paying the price right now. So I think there's a possibility I can hold this off till the fifth round, the revolution that is, um, but we'll see. Um, it may not happen. It depends on the dice rolls a little bit. So um, Central Power is just pushed in really hard. Uh, Germany has a massive army in Belarus with air supremacy. Um, they have backups coming from Poland and Galicia. Um, some skirmish battles up in Estonia, Finland, Karelia, in that area. Um, I have a decently sized army of Austrians over here in Crimea, which have a number of options. Uh, the Ottomans pushed further north out of Caucasus into Volga. They did clean up the British incursions, which went into Armenia and Mesopotamia. So I got some smaller garrisons there. The British just fortified Persia a little bit more. More buys in Western India. Um, getting back though to Austria-Hungary, um, they took over Albania, reinforced Dalmatia. Uh, now they have two fighters there. It seems like they're building a fighter a turn uh, since the Italians are building a fighter a turn. So there's a little bit of standoff there. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the British Navy came into the Mediterranean. Um, we got the Italian Navy convoying the Ottomans. The Italians took southern Anatolia, so they disrupted that rail line from Amara down to Palestine. And the Russians are using that, at least doing some good with that Navy and convoying the crap out of the Central Powers. <laughs> they kind of can reach everything here. So uh, the uh, Ottomans uh, only collected $12 this past turn. Uh, as you can see, the Central Power Fleet here, the German and Austrian fleets, are over here in the Indian Ocean. They pretty much have control of it right now. Um, and I have this uh, navy over here off the west, southern, southwest coast of uh, Africa. So I'm using it as bait. Uh, we'll see what he does. Hopefully he attacks me. I'd like to see him. It's going to be too juicy for him to pass up, I think, because uh, i got three transports there. So if I pull him this way, I can come this way, and we can do some stuff. Um, the American cruiser that was in the Pacific went over this way. Japanese cruisers all the way over here. Um, I'm jumping over, over to the Pacific. Let's look at this first, though. So, uh, France and the uh, Britain took over uh, Belgium. There was um, uh, Germany had to back out at that point, so they backed up to Rhine Province. Uh, built up in Alsace. Um, they've got four fighters on the Western Front. Uh, two France's two, which that's going to probably be ugly for. The allies next turn uh france or sorry britain cleared up another um german sub over by canada uh, let's see what else um in terms of tech uh everybody's getting poison gas it seems like now uh poison gas and elites are the only tech everybody's getting <laughs> uh kind of crazy uh the americans uh now you'll be like why are the americans over here already it's only round three well um the american uh naval restrictions are lifted um, when the central powers reach the empire point for the first time. Um, so they did, they were at the, the uh, empire point, which they had 86 between Austria, Hungary and Germany had 86 on the income tracker. So they just had it. So that meant that by the time it was America's turn, I could, um, make the move into season 15. So at least put some early pressure on. There is a German sub here in season eight though. So I'm going to have to be mindful of that. Um, what else happened here? France just reinforced Lorraine. Uh, more ground builds in Paris, anticipating further losses. Um, America just built some naval units over the Pacific. Japan took, took the German colony of Qingtao, um, expanded its navy outward. There is a German transport that is by itself in season 60, moving over from the Indian Ocean. So I'm trying to hunt that down. Um, the end, the National Protection War just began in China. So, um, the Empire of China, which is the allied aligned faction of China, went first. Uh, I rolled miserably in Hopei. I think I got like one hit or something. Rolled okay in Zhejiang, so I made two attacks. And then 
he uh, went on his turn and rolled absolutely amazing, uh, but so did I. So <laughs> we did a lot of damage to each other. I think he has the edge though uh, between those two massive blows that uh, just occurred on his turn and my bad rolling. I think he has, I'm on my turn, my bad rolling. I think he has the slight edge here. So we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, Russia Russia's really the uh, center focus right now. What's gonna happen? Is the revolution gonna happen now? Uh, in round four, or is it going to happen in round five? It's definitely going to happen one of these two rounds. There is no way Russia is going to make it to round six. And that has a real lot to do with my crazy strategy I'm trying. Um, I kind of glossed over Africa here, but um, Britain decided to attack Palestine this turn and dealt nine hits, which was pretty healthy. Um, and then the Ottomans dealt a hit back. I think that was last round, actually. Let me think about that. Oh, yeah, that was last round. So actually, this round... I pulled out, left the Italians in here, and then the Ottomans cleaned them up. Um, so that's what occurred, sorry. Uh, over in Africa, it's turning into quite a quagmire for the Allies. The Central Powers are just shotgunning out into the middle. Um, so there's Central Power units all over the place. Um, it's gonna be quite a problem over here. And uh, that's it, that's it for round three. Uh, round four, um, that's, uh, I, Austria-Hungary has already taken their turn. I have not seen it yet, so I anticipate that he'll probably hit this fleet and keep pushing in the south here, or probably eastern Ukraine with the Austrians um, or Caucasus. That's what I imagine. Or not, you know what? Volga might be a good option for him. Yeah, Volga would be the best option. Okay. All right. Stay tuned.